welcome back to part two of making a sporin thank you for joining me again um, coming down off of a cold so <clears throat> probably not going to talk a whole lot during this video basically just need to sew the gusset into the sporin and then sew it to the back side and then do the finish work with the edges and hardware and stuff like that so that's what we're going to work on today to get this thing finished up having done this again I know some things I want to change about my design going forward so for my simple day sporn I'm gonna work out a hunting sporn design as well but I'm new to this craft so I'm still trying to figure out the details thank you for joining me again I'm really gonna need to rough this up to get that glue to stick If you don't have a sewing machine, if I had a sewing machine, I could just run the stitch. I think I might actually rivet this as well on the edge. Let's see how this glue holds. even as possible with the curve here, but a little overlap so I can trim it off, but I definitely want it to be as even as possible. for a minute all right I swear my camera is bipolar it's all right we're gonna get through this I got all the holes punched so we got that going for us holes are punched the leather has been glued to the face side of the sporn so I can stitch I guess it in that is, let's see, 19 inches, so we're going to go one, Come on, loopy loop here, and I did rivet them, I ended up put a rivet in here, zoom in to the top. Whoa, that is a long piece of string, alright, I think I might have gone a little too far with the string, but whatever, good. Let's just start screwing this thing down and see what happens. And they say handcrafted. We mean it. Handcrafted. I'm not going to film this whole thing because I'm already bored. So let's carry on. All right, we're dialing it in on this last little stitch here. give it one back stitch since it's actually got a rivet at the end of the seam it doesn't need to be triple batch sticks normally normally what I would do if it was at the end of a seam and there was no rivet there I will triple back stitch it but I'm just gonna go back once this time moosh it down there we go there's that <laughs> Oh, we got to clean this bad boy up and flip it. Fold it over. 
And the gusset. And it's a little different than doing a knife sheet because usually when I get to this point where there's glue and stuff like that, I'm that's all going to get ground off and it's mostly hidden so I don't really have to worry about any squeeze out on seams and stuff like that. So it's definitely a little different. Might need to rethink my gluing process for this type of thing to make it a little cleaner and nicer. I do not see any way around that actually. That's going to be interesting. Let's just go for it and see what happens. Honestly. Down. In funky town. For those of you out there that are more experienced in spotting making, I'm sure there's an entirely different way to do this. And I am open to suggestions. And no, I don't have a sewing machine, so. That's not in the cards right this second. But I do have rivets, and I got thread. Of that. There. It is not pretty well. All right, now we get the fun part of more sewing. Let's do it. I think we went a little too far last time with our string, so let's dial it down. Maybe we do one, two, three, four lengths. What? Stitch over top, rolling it over top, counterclockwise, nice loop, and tighten it down, life is good, off we go. I punched the holes a couple of times this time, I went back and forth both sides punching holes to make it a little, just widening them out, making it easier to run this thread without having to punch while you're punch or widen while you're sewing is kind of a pain in the neck. So make sure you get your holes big enough to begin with. <coughs> From the beginning. You can see the stitching goes way quicker than your holes are. Let's zoom in here. 
new camera it was a great investment. I got the Fujifilm X-S10 with kit lens, 18-55, and it was long overdue after about 15 years of doing photography with the same camera too, 12 years at least, and videography and everything. Time for an upgrade, and that has definitely been worth it. Looks like way easier. All right, I'm gonna start get it all sewed up, and I'll start cleaning up the edges here. And I'm gonna do something that I normally do on my knife sheaths. And this is not in any way an authorized use of this equipment, but we're going for it anyway. It just helps clean this up a little bit. Let's see. If This is where doing, you know, uh, an overlap saddle will, will be really, really nice. Do that on the next one. Make sure we got a clean edge here and decent burnishing. Use some tokenol called tokenol as a finish for the edge. Burnishing, burnishing finish, but I gotta get some, uh, gotta get some black on there first. <laughs> Which is kind of nerve-wracking to get the leather dye back out. Let me see how this goes here. It's just trans cleaned up a little bit. It's not too bad. A little better. Let's get some black leather dye on that sucker. Let's just try to be really, really careful. That's what we're gonna do. Let's use a small pipe cleaner because it's a tiny area and want tiny, tiny control. Twisty, twisty, twisty. All right. Come on. Just a little bit. All right. Now for the tokenol. Did we start over here? We started over here. Burner here. Token on. Let's just see how this goes. Alright, let's burnish that little section. Token all is on. Edges are buffed and burnished. Buffed and burnished. That's pretty good stuff. I like the token all. It kind of makes a nice clean edge. So now yeah, I don't need to pop for my for my actual snap, which I'm going to put on here. A line 24 snap. About there, I'll do. Make sure we get that even. I think that's. Let's see. 
Yeah, right in the middle. Look at that. Bing, bang, boom. I knew what we're doing. That anvil there with the tape on it protect the top. Yes, that's where that goes. All kinds of ugly. Sweet. And I scratched the crap out of it right there. Look at that. Snap works though. Hmm. Not too bad. I'm going to put some wax on it and finish it up. But uh, here we go. Now let's really get this sucker tried out. Properly dressed, of course. All right, here we are with the final result. Overall, I think it turned out pretty nice. Not too shabby. There's some construction techniques I want to work on. Token all makes a really nice finish of the edge, though. A little bit of fine tuning there. Definitely putting an edge cap on there will be good finishing touch for the next one. I'm going to try that out. It's a little bit more sewing, but I think it'll work out good. And thank you for joining me again. If you liked what you saw here, like, subscribe, share, that kind of thing. Um, I'm going to be doing some more of these in the future. I definitely have some design tweaks I want to make to the overall package. I think this one might maybe slightly too big. I think it's about a quarter of an inch too big all the way around. Um, just a simple strap for this one. I prefer a belt. I just made this out of a simple piece of, you know, um, I think five ounce, five, six ounce um, veg tan. I prefer straps to chains, personally. That's just me. Anyway, thank you for joining me again, and um, hope to see you on the next video.